Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's continue, finally, our Let's Play on Crusader Kings 2 Croatia. And again, as always, I apologize for the small delay, and this will be a shorter episode than most because I'm kind of just getting back into the saddle. Um, I've kind of been on vacation and had a few things going on, so that kind of slowed down some of my video uploads and production time so um but i wanted to get back into the, into this series um you know i, I it, there was a pause there but i guess it was a good time to do a pause because i had hit 100 episodes and then 101 was kind of the uh book in history review so to speak so this episode is going to be uh somewhat of i'm, I'm going to do some stuff but it's going to also be somewhat of a just let's get back in the saddle look around get things going now the first uh, issue I have here is money is a very serious problem. Um, I know there was a few other things, like we wanted to try to help my grandson here, who he is fighting a revolt, actually. But it looks like he's winning. It says it's 37% in favor of King Dimitaro. So he's, he's winning. Grandson's doing a good job. Um... But we have no money, and so if I try to go and help him right now, what are we ticking at? About 11, 11 and a half? Or no, thir almost 14. Right, four okay, yeah, right, okay. Well, well, yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and, we'll start this, let's go ahead and start this running just real slow for a minute. Let's do two ticks. Um... Okay, but pause one second. One thing we got to do. <laughs> he let it run for two days, and then he paused it. Can you believe it? Um, one thing we needed to do, I know, is... Some of these guys that were these troublemakers in this last revolt, in particular the Nitria guy here, I've had enough of this guy's shenanigans. He may have a fine mustache, but that's not enough. Um, I'm going to strip him of his titles, I think. And I think I can do it because he's a traitor and nobody's going to be pissed about it except him. But he's never getting out of jail, so it won't matter. Um, Duchy of Nitria will lower his opinion of you by 80. Since he is a traitor, our vassals will not object. Most excellent. For 100 prestigious... And the other vassals by 20. Hmm, how serious of a hit would that be overall? Let me dip him down. I'd have to work on a couple people. This guy, oh, the Galish guy is really... I guess the Galish guy is really pissed, huh? Um... I and mean, a title's not gonna do it. A duchy of Galicia. Oh, I got way too much right now, don't I? Yeah. What if I give him the duchy of Galicia? He's a count of Galish. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Some of you may object to that particular move. Let's see, I'm holding Nitria right now. Slavonia. Galish, Bosnia, right, so I got four, I, no, one, two, three, four, four, yeah, I got four, I need to get rid of some of these, actually, I'm going to give that back to him, to try to get him on the good side, um, okay, but that's still not fixing the, that's not fixing the other issue of stripping that other guy of his other title. Um, yes, I'm clicking in the wrong areas. Um, here's the Nitria guy. Uh, that's okay, I think I'm... Well, no, I guess I can't. Okay, that's fine. But what I want to do is I want to let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give Leonidas... I 
think, oh, I can't do that right now because he's... That's right. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tricky situation right now. I forgot about all that. Because he's in here with his son. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're all dead. We got Maximus. I guess I could give it to Maximus. Um... That would be a county crucified wizard. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Let's let this run for a second because I need some of the I need some of the laundry to clear out there and some of that stuff to hit for a second. Okay, just so see. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The other issues we were ha okay, we have two issues. One was the Poland thing, which he hmm that guy's trying to get independence. Hmm. Okay, that's probably not good either. Yeah, we got everybody doing something. Right. Okay. They were all assigned recently on the last one. Also, didn't we have... Did we have an issue with religion here as well, I think? Yes. I don't think I can assign... Currently in Galish. Oh, okay. So he's already working on that, actually. We already have him there trying to convert. Good luck with that. Okay. Um, he's got some battles going on. Well, that one looks like it's about to end. Yeah, they got some nonsense. Definite shenanigans going on in the Byzantine. Um, and is our... Military, um, right. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. All right, our other son died, so now we only have one. Wow, that is just nuts. Leonidas is the last man standing. Um. Yeah, that's not. That's not good. We need to get our grandson into the fold, but. Um. Let's pause. We got enough money now, we could probably join the war to help him. But I think he's got it under control. Um, hostile towards... Okay. But if I join him, which is... Okay, he would just want me to join that one. Can collectively attempt to declare independence from King Dimitaro of Poland. And how is he doing on that particular? Let's look at that again. Sorry, I keep going back and forth because I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to figure some of this stuff out and decide, you know, things to do on the fly, so to speak. Um, Eight percent in favor. Okay, so he's it's he's not doing anything is the problem. So I could join and help him and then just march over there and take those. And that would solve that problem, I guess. And that's probably a good idea. So, hmm. 
And I probably wouldn't need very many troops to do it. I mean, my retinue could potentially take care of it. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Okay. And then let's move these guys. And then... Yes, let our enemies tremble. Okay. Well... I really don't want to raise too many guys because... I don't have the money for it, so I'm just going to take these guys over there for now. This is not good. Oh, it flipped for him, okay. Fine, yeah, he's going to have it under control then before I even get there. Roger that. All right. Gold pours from my hands, but never finds its way back. The numbers and sums make no sense. Twirling numbers mocking me appear every time I close my eyes. My wife Lopa has offered to help me, but I have refused every time she brings it up. Interesting. Um, I give up, honey. Please help. Uh, we get stewardship advice, giving the following effects. Local tax modifier plus 5%. Um, one of two options will happen. 20% chance to gain one stewardship. 80% chance against content. Okay. Gain prestige. No, we'll go ahead and go with that. I am perfectly happy with the way things are. I've gained the content trait. Excellent, I guess. Well, not really. Um, let's pause that for a second. One thing I wanted to look at is... Are we collecting taxes? Yes, he's in Krizovic attack collecting taxes. I should probably move him somewhere else just for a short period though. Um, move him to Rama. Uh, Alright. Just to spread it around. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to cause any revolt risks or anything like that anyway, but... Um, let's go ahead and start that up again. 1484. 37. It actually dropped a little bit, but that's okay. Let's pause a second. That's the Pomerania, Pomeralia, Pomeralia, whatever. You guys know I'm terrible with the pronunciations. Stop leaving comments about it. <laughs> let's go in here and, uh, let's see, I'm pleased to report that your errant subject has converted to the Catholic faith. Man, that dude is working some miracles over there. Okay, I don't really need to do anything because I definitely outnumbered him pretty heavily. Pretty much a route. Let's pause this for a second. Um, discovered a plot seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Rashka. Um. Yeah, one problem I need to look at, let's pause this a second, because one thing I'm doing wrong, I'm sure, is, let's see, too many duchies held. Yes, I know I have too many duchies. I have one too many. I have Nitria that I gotta get rid of. Um, but I only have two people in the negative, so... And this guy, the Galish guy... is fixed now. Um, these are rebels. That has nothing to do with us. Um, let's move these guys over there. Uh, 
Okay, yes, my demand is just in your frickin' scheming. Alright, everything else is going okay. Our money's going up. Our grandson's gonna win these, I believe. 42, 81. Okay, we're doing good. Bad news from Rama. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance. <laughs> and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may, might have a revolt on our hands here soon. Oh my goodness. Pause. Okay, Marshall. Suppress some revolts. Hope that works. And then let's have him. Can I get pull him out or is not for a while yet? April? A couple months. Okay. Uh, the Golden Horde. My liege. Another horde has been sent west by the terrible Kagen of the... Mo we'll just say uh, Khan because that's more fun. Of the Mongols. This one, the Golden Horde, has allegedly been ordered to conquer Europe all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. God preserve us. Yep, there it comes. Look at that big old green blob coming across the map. Give it some dramatic effect there. Um, yeah, we knew that was happening, right? So, let's unpause this and just go here. Let's see if we can get up here and... I want to at least try to finish these, uh, try and finish this revolt out. Now, kind of my plan is here, and we may not finish it on this episode, and I'll look for some feedback from all of you. I want to try to get these uh, battles done with Poland, get him kind of in a good position and united, and then I'm probably going to change him to my heir, um... Even though that's going to be a pain. Um, boy, he's got all the votes tied up there, don't he? Um, yeah, this should be uh, converted to the... Th yep, great. That's right, I still have him sitting over there, don't I? Um... Oh, but it's still not converted fully yet, so he's still working on it. Okay, that's fine. My king, word has reached me, reached me that your court chaplain has accused me of heresy. I implore you as a devout Catholic to another devout Catholic to believe me when I tell you I'm not a heretic. Mayor, yep. Um... Hmm. Let's go ahead and s agree. Say that he's not. I can take the small hit from my champ, from my bishop, and that improves my relations with him. So that's fine. We'll go with that. Uh, my liege, my mission to Paris so far has been a success. During my visit to the court of Queen Brigida the Great, I seem to have managed to make her understand what a benevolent and peaceful, peaceful ruler you really are. Yes, yes, of course. And she sends her regards, your humble Chancellor, Aubrey. Perfect. 40 for two years. Most excellent. I kind of half forgot that he was over here doing that. There he is right there. Opinion of me, 94. Well, kind of what we were hoping to do, I think, what I was, if I recall correctly, with some of these shenanigans, is we want to get these guys kind of on our side so that when this tidal wave slams into the eastern side of us, that we can call, hopefully, from some allies, I'm hoping. I mean, both of these guys' opinions are pretty up there. Um, I wonder, maybe I should move and... Oh, they moved their uh, capital back. Um, I'm wondering if I should move him and let's improve some diplomatic relations with uh, with these guys now for a little bit. I think that'd be a good idea. 
If we can get them to be really good friends, I think that might help us in the long run to hold this off. I mean, I, I, I still think the tidal wave is going to slam into us, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this should be almost over. Give it up already. Would you know when you're defeated? Of course you know where that came from. Um, 65-73. Okay. Man, that is a heck of a last name. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm having a internal squabble going on over here. Um, the revolt did get suppressed, though. He took care of that, so that's good. Um, we'll continue to pull from there for now. We're pulling over 16, which is good. What are we working on? My town. God, it's going to take forever. Um, we've won the siege. Excellent. Okay, everything else is going pretty well. 66 on that still. Successful crusade for Sicily. God is granted Queen Brigida of France victory in the crusade for Sicily against Sultan Muse the first of the Riyadh Sultanate. Pope Victor the third has called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. Y'all need to stop celebrating and send me some backup. Um. Pope died. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna. And we're still, we'll still be fine on that. Been a success. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. Good job. Um, all right, we're getting closer to where we want to be. Um, and I'm trying to get a few years ticked out here on this episode as well. We've gone through at least two there comes the Golden Horde. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it and said, you know, when it comes, Doom, f there's a pale horse, <laughs> and upon it, death rides. Uh, there it comes. So we'll see how we hold out as Croatia here. I mean, they're going to slam into Byzantine as well, so maybe they'll get their hands full with that quite a bit. Um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I think that's a good stopping point. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, you guys can kind of see what's going on. Um, kind of my plan is, let me go ahead and I'm gonna let this run until June. We'll see if anything else happens between here and June. Um, okay. There we go. We got, with the, uh, there we go. Holy Roman Empire, main dude, emperor. We got, uh, 40. So that's good. Excellent. Uh, Tython Rama, Hunter Gold, excellent. Excellent news. We could go ahead and move him back to... Let's go ahead and move him. Move him back to Krisovec. And we'll move our Marshal... Uh, back to train troops for now. Alright. Get to let that run for a minute. We'll let this go till June. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll uh, just to, just to recap. And we were trying to get our money back. Our money situation is better now. Um, Catholic faith, excellent. Victory, excellent. Greens, good. All right, so we're kind of we're taking it to those guys there. Uh, everything is still clean here. The Galish guy is he still doing okay? Yeah, we're good with him. Let's take a look at our vassals again real quick. Vassals. We got two in the red and they're both in jail. Pa pow That's exactly how we want it. I don't care if they don't like me. Um, I do got that duchy I need to take care of. Um, I'll take any advice from you guys on that, I guess. I can't give it to my son um, currently. Because um, he's in Poland. Because his son is the king currently. Um, but we are helping our grandson, which is good. It looks like he's 95% there and 100% there. Okay, let's go ahead and let this, let's let this run for a second, because that should tick and finish. 
Uh oh, wait a minute, here we go. I have inst decided to institute limited crown authority law in the Byzantine Empire since. Ugh, I don't pay attention to anything the Byzantine Empire does. Okay, there we go. The Pomer. Pomer. I was going to say Pomeranian. <laughs> That's a dog. P Pomeralian. I don't know, whatever. League Independence Wars ended. King of Dimitar the first of Poland is one. Yay! Grandson won. Okay, let's move these guys. Right, let's let's head them back home. Um, we'll let this run into we'll let this run to middle of June here. All right, that's close enough. All right, so we helped on that. Um, our grandson, of course, has a high opinion of us. Um, I'm considering naming him the heir. Uh, which is, I don't know if that's a great idea, because Leonidas is lined up in perfect position right now, and Dimitaro could die any day now. So I don't know if that's a great decision. It would be, it would be a great decision if he dies, because if I, if I could get him into position where everybody goes along with it, then bam, we just expanded all through here, and we basically have a landlock going from... from you know, from coast to co from you know sea to sea, we have a we'll we'll have a border going here. Um, so I may do that. I'll take some opinions from you guys on that. If I should go ahead and name him the heir and go that route um, to do a, a to do a better merge, um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, again, I'm continuing to work on my alliances behind us to try to maybe be able to call reinforcements if it gets to that point. Um, we can see Golden Horde is heading across. Um, I think everything else is, is sorted pretty well. We did pull the land titles from the Nitria guy. Um, so yeah, and their vassals are looking pretty good, except for the two in jail. So everything else is going pretty good overall. Um, it's going to be some pretty crazy episodes coming up in the next couple of weeks, though. So we'll see how that all pans out. But we'll go ahead and stop it there. Uh, thanks for joining me. The next episode, I'll try to get a little quicker. I'm, like I said, I'm still on vacation right now, so if you're watching this the day it goes up or whatever, um, I'm still on vacation. So I will try to get another episode tomorrow. Um, you know, So there'll probably be another episode maybe two to three days after this one is my goal. Maybe two days. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, so anyway, I will catch you all next time in the tavern. Thanks for joining me.